Hello, good yo-yo people. I'm Nate, and this is Let's Talk Yo-Yo. Today, we are reviewing the new collaboration between Rain City Skills and Dr. Popular. This is the Pop Art. Pop Art here is a modern, responsive yo-yo. Let's get into it. Like I said uh, in the intro here, this is a collaboration between Dr. Popular and Rain City Skills. Um, this definitely has um, Dr. Popular's sort of flair to it. I, I particularly see that. Um, Rain City though also, they put out the Gamer and then they also put out the Delrin Gamer. So they're not um, completely unfamiliar with responsive, modern responsive yo-yos as well. So this was a great collaboration between these two. Uh, these two companies, these two people. Um, and so I think they did a really good job of combining both their expertise into one killer yo-yo. So it is Delrin, by the way, uh, and it's gonna come in this white. I don't know any future releases if it's gonna come in maybe other colors, but with it being white, of course you can dye this if you're into that. I've really never really taken too much time to dye any yo-yos. I did one a long time ago and I dyed it just like dark brown so it wasn't anything crazy uh, but if you're into that or if you're you know you want to experiment with that this is certainly a good candidate for that um, let's just talk about the outside before we get in first off it's a slimline yo-yo okay which is going to be great for that responsive play it's got a high wall as well with the high wall there it's going to be really consistent for stalls and things like that and uh, if you're doing any more advanced tricks like kick flips and stuff like that uh, you're not going to lose that string out of the gap as easily because it is a nice high wall um, sorry that's the uh, counterweight here dangling i'll take that off here that's the other thing that's going to come with the first release of this is the uh the new rain city skills uh, raindrop counterweight which is also delrin i've gone over this i have a review on this you should check that out um, i'm going to have it set up by the way without the bearing um, it does come with a bearing and a little stopper that plugs into the bearing and so uh, you need if you're not going to have that on there you just want to make sure that your knot is a little bit bigger on your string so that it doesn't slip through but that's how i'm going to have it set up in fact um this yo-yo is really kind of geared towards something that Dr. Popular and a few others, like Ed Hipponic has posted some uh, tricks as well, um, of a, a kind of a new style, um, not really new, but sort of revamped and, and kind of modernized to what fixed, fixed tricks look like now, uh, to do uh, five zero A, I think that's what it's technically called. So unresponsive play with counterweight. So. Uh, I'm not much of a 5A player in the first place, but I've actually really enjoyed this style of learning some tricks. And I'll have in the description here as well, uh, Dr. Popular on his channel. So if you've not subscribed to his channel, you should definitely check that out. Right now he's got a tutorial segment going on right now uh, on how to do modern 5A, 50A, <laughs> or counterweight responsive tricks anyways again going back to the yo-yo here so you also have like finger spin hubs now it's not res unresponsive so you're not gonna be like pop it up and do a finger spin now you, you can do sort of uh you can do some things but you'll have to be more creative it's not going to be a traditional finger spin yo-yo because it's un because it's not unresponsive because it is responsive that would have been easier to say uh, but on here too you have kind of a little bit of a lip okay and so what you're going to be able to do here, because of how it drags along there, um, a little bit of a wall, you, you'll be able to easily pull start, um, matador, whatever, uh, with that and, um, and do that kind of thing. Plus, you can also do it up here where there's the IRG and you can pull it there. So we'll, we'll experiment with that. Uh, these hubs are nice and smooth. They're not anodized. They're just finished and uh, really smooth. Head high walled, nice and slim line. So it's going to be great in the pocket as well. Let's go ahead and take it apart and show you what the uh, guts look like. Uh, one of the things I love about um, this Yo-Yo 2 is that they chose to do a, an A-size bearing, which from my experience, this is the go-to setup for a great response, like consistent response. It's gonna be right on the money every time. And it has that nostalgic feel, of course, as well, uh, which Dr. Popular is all about. It also has the pads on there that are the gamer pads. So they're nice and thick. They're 
uh, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit raised. They're thicker pads than normal, so you know, once you break them in a little bit, they're still gonna be very responsive. Plus, and it's maybe hard to tell here on the camera, maybe, all right, let me see here. But you'll see that there are smooth grooves. That's gonna create a, a consistent, those are those grooves there, the machined in there. That's gonna create a consistent response. Um, the, the bearing came heavily lubed as well. I've played it enough though that I've had to add uh, some more grease. Um, and that's another thing that Dr. Popular has covered on his channel on the first episode of, of his uh, modern responsive 5A play. He talked about maintenance and one of the things that you're gonna wanna probably get a hold of quickly if you don't have it already is some grease. Um, I also use the Omega Lube, Thick Lube. That stuff like will make any bearing, I don't care what it is, uh, any bearing responsive if you throw like just a couple drops in it. So I put actually a little bit of that in here too. Um, and um, it's exactly where I want it. You want um, your response to be just perfect, especially when if you're playing 5A style with this yo-yo. Uh, you're gonna want it really consistent and um, deliberate every time. You're not gonna wanna be able to have to tug on it a couple times just to make sure that you get up to your hand. You want it consistent. So um, yeah, let's go play it um, and see how it plays on the string. All right, let's go. Welcome back to the on the string section with the pop art. All right, so yeah, uh, I have it set up right now with the uh, raindrop uh, counterweight here. Again, I did a review on that, so if you want to check that out, you should do that. Again, I'm not a 5A player. Like, I don't, I don't really spend a lot of time with it. What's, what's kind of fun is you can do stuff like that where, like, it's not consistent, but um, where I'm dropping off here. The other cool thing is you can do switch hands, you know, because why not, right? It's it's counterweight. Talked about I talked about in the hand section where you can do uh, pull starts, and so if you grab it right here, kind of just right in the in the finger spin hub there, you can kind of grip and put your nails up against that. Oh, that wasn't a very good one, but. You get what I'm saying. Fun little trick you can do here that Dr. Popular showed on his channel is to do a pull start like that and come halfway and then go out, right? And now you're in like this brother mount. <laughs> Anyways, it's a lot of fun. Just like play with it, right? Talk. Let's talk about that uh, response though. Like I said, I did have to give it a little extra um, lube there and, and grease there um, because I've been I was playing it for a while you want to make sure that your maintenance is really good on this but out of the box it came perfectly responsive um, it came heavily lubed and uh, greased and it, it was great so um, the response has been really consistent I don't ever feel like I have to question it or I feel like I have to reach for it or tug on it multiple times to really feel like I, I'm gonna get it back up to my hand. Let's see if I could do a snap start with my non-throw hand. Yeah, a good way to test out whether your response is where it needs to be is to do a snap start. And if it can come up, come back to your hand rather. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out and I'm gonna just set it up as a regular responsive yo-yo, which I know a lot of you will probably do as well. And I will do that myself as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this out. A little bit more proficient with that. Um, by the way, a little pro tip um, for responsive play, you might want to shorten your string. Um, I shortened my string quite a bit more, probably a good like six inches almost shorter. Well, maybe not that short. Maybe like four inches shorter than on average. So I, I put it right. Actually, some people will put it at their belly button height. I, I actually put it a little bit lower than that, more at my like waist level, my belt level. Um, so it depends on what your preference is, but I feel like um, I'm going to have better stalls and more consistency um, if I have it a little bit shorter like that. Okay, let's talk about the weight on this too. Now that I have it in a regular responsive setup that I'm more comfortable with. Um, yeah, the weight on this is perfect. You know, I, I think one of the things that you really need to be careful with it, with a responsive yo-yo is if it's too heavy, it's going to give that like that clunk kind of feel on a stall. Um, 
and uh, oh, that was weird. Uh, but it's going to give that clunk sort of feel on a stall that you don't want, and it's going to have a lot of kickback, rather, right? Um, and you don't want that. So yeah, for stalls, it's it, it's just nice and snappy and perfect. Um, between the A bearing that's heavily lubed, of course, and um, and of course your your smooth groove and, and the pads and everything, it's a great combination. You're still going to be able to get like longer spinning tricks, but at the same time, you're going to be able to snap it back to a stall real easily. In fact, I'll kind of do a short stall to show you kind of how easily it kind of just binds up real perfectly. Yeah, response is right on. I mean, I honestly can't think of anything I dislike about this yo-yo. Um, plus, okay, so let's talk about this too. This is a Delrin yo-yo, and, and it's really hard to get plastic, even Delrin that's machined, uh, to be perfectly smooth. And this is, this is pretty darn smooth. I mean, this is like a nine um, out of smoothness. I mean, it would be up there with, if this was a metal yo-yo, with the same specs and an A bearing and all that, I think it would be just as smooth. Uh, the width on that too, like I talked about with the slimline feel to it, it's not too wide that you should be able to do the back of the hand stalls uh, with no problem. Let me see if I can do one. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to get that like, you know, 360 spin off of the back. Man, I love this yo-yo. It is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So if you're looking for your uh, responsive yo-yo, which I know a lot of you guys have gotten into responsive and there are more and more yo-yos being released in the last year or two that are gonna give you options. Um, there's more in the market, which is great. I think it's good to have that. Uh, this is still a unique offering for that. Um, it's Delrin, which is great. It's not the first of its kind. There is the Delrin Gamer. Uh, but I like I really like the shape on this yo-yo really comfortable um, and it's gonna be a great pocket yo-yo as well right without giving you know like uncomfortable bulk I could sit down with this in my pocket and uh, no problem uh, but yeah it's it's just gonna be a great everyday kind of carry plus if you order in the first shipment you're gonna get that counterweight in addition to it and learn a new style right learn something new try something different and um, that's what I'm doing, and uh, I'm hoping to uh, get a little more consistent and a little more confident with it. All right, that's going to do it for the Pop Art collaboration area between Dr. Popular and Rain City Skills. And as usual, good day and good.